I, I would love to say that, oh, white people did this in this country and, you know, have made it difficult for us to get ahead. I would love to say that. But we have to have the conversation about black men and their, and their proximity to whiteness um, mm -hmm. and using that to, to manipulate and abuse and take advantage of us. You know, like, mm -hmm. you, I, I, sometimes black men are like the white men of black women. Like, if mm -hmm. that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. Like, we love y'all. And I, I tell people all the time, black men are my love language. Love y'all mm -hmm. now, honey. We'll ride and die for y'all. But I'm so tired of being thrown up under the bus. I'm yeah. so tired of not being respected. People talking mm -hmm. over me, telling me that I, what I don't deserve. Like, like we want to connect with y'all. But when we, we see do. stories like this of how... People, as soon as y'all get some money, y'all start acting a fool. Mm -hmm. Y'all start acting a fool. So we can't love the broke ones because then we need to choose better. We can't yeah. love the rich ones because you knew what you signed up for. He got money and power. Mm -hmm. So you know he's not going to be a good Like, mm -hmm. where does it end? It doesn't. It doesn't end. And it's such a competition. Like, I hate that we are now in competition. I don't want to be in competition with y'all. At all. Like, that's not, that's not the goal. But that seems like that's the narrative that's being pushed out. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. talk about how much I hate podcasts, even though I'm on one. That's so, right. so contradictory. Well, it's the type of podcast. For that me. part. Okay, I hate certain types of podcasts that push that narrative that put Black men and Black women against each other. All they do is just like, just tear down, tear down, tear down. That's never our goal. We just report mm -hmm. on stories that we hear and we give our opinion. But there are people who are not reporting on anything, but what they <laughs> think up here. Okay. And just what they think. It'd be worse and worse. It'd be worse and worse. And then they drag other people who have that same vicious mentality. And now it's just a hate group about how much you just can't stand black women, how you just say all these negative things about black women and then want to turn around and say, well, black women don't like us either. Black women, da, 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 da. and it's like, but you, you spewing out venom. Yeah, Anytime somebody spew out like venom, that's what I'm saying. Anytime somebody spew out venom to me, you best believe I'm not gonna come back with unicorns and roses. I'm coming for your right. neck. You better right. believe it. So, like, yeah, I just don't respect it. And it is like when they get money, we're no longer their type. Um, mm -hmm. they want something exotic. Yeah. Uh, First of all, black is, black is black black very is, exotic. It's the most exotic you'll ever get. Come on. Saying. Black is very exotic. Listen, it looks, it comes in different shades. shades. Come on. Don't make Jerlyn. Don't. Excuse me. I got a shot real quick. Hi. <laughs> okay. No. It's as exotic as you okay. can get. Baby, she can show up as anything at any given time. Like, yeah. She is a chameleon. Oh my goodness, you have no clue what you're missing out on. But it just, ain't my choice. It but ain't just my, love us, place. love us the right way, though. I think for me, like men have, they think that they have this natural position of authority and leadership. And if that is the case, then you need to lead by example. I will gladly follow suit. But if you're struggling to pay your bills, why would I come over here and listen to anything that you're saying? Come you on. can't provide for yourself. If you are come confused on. about your life choices and you have no direction, no guidance, why would I allow you to leave me? That's number come one. On. Like, I will gladly, what are we I talking will about? gladly cater to you, honey. Mm. I will do it. I will do it. But you have not provided a, a space for me where I feel safe and seen. And mm -hmm. until I feel secure with you, I'm not going to let my guard down because I have to protect myself, even if, if it's from you. Like, we've seen it so many times. Like, Yo, what, black women too hard. Y'all too masculine. We're tired, baby. We're so tired. tired. We're so tired. And then you see the ones that give you everything you want and they bend over backwards for you. You see how you treat them? I ain't going to tell you. I'm going to let you think about how they mm -hmm. get treated. When mm -hmm. they do all of this stuff that y'all say y'all want. Mm -hmm. You pay attention to how they treat women like that. Yeah. But I mean, mm -hmm. so like my thing is, honey, I, I refuse to believe that I have to have a man with money who treats me like crap or I have to have a broke man who's medium ugly who... <laughs> barely making it you know like who, who worship the ground i walk on like i'm sorry the lord knows my heart i'm gonna need a hybrid of the two <laughs> i i'm not gonna struggle with you when i'm not that girl my daddy didn't make me do it i don't make myself do it i'm not about to be with a man who make me struggle for money for time for attention for romance Absolutely. for any of it i don't want to do Absolutely. any of it i'm I've 35 definitely done i'm not my doing community it. service hours i have definitely done my community service hours i think i'm just at an age where i just don't want to <laughs> i'm not doing like no, no, yeah, no, no, I've you already done you that. You don't have to. And that's that part. Period. You don't have to. Don't have to. I've already done it. I've seen where it's got me, which is nowhere. So, like, yeah. we, we're good. I've already done that. So, yeah, I want more. I deserve more. Well, I mean, 
Uncle Shannon said he got it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. What was it? Stop. What Uncle was it? <laughs> Baby, Shannon Sharp on Club Sh Listen, let me tell you something. This man been wilding since January 3rd when he opened the doors <laughs> box with, with Cat Williams. Okay? Shay Shay got on live last week on, on accident. Mm. Now, you couldn't see nothing, mm -hmm. but you could hear. It sounded Everything. to me. It sounded to me like they was doing the Ucha Kucha, the, the horror. Girl, girl. Okay. it okay. sounds like nursing home involved me. If you hate me, that's like I sound in a nursing home. Girl, <laughs> It sounded like a struggle. That's what it sounded like. It did. It really did. It sounded it like did. it was he, it sounded like he had too much dip on his shit. Shut out the country way. Um but some people are saying he did it on purpose to kind of dispel rumors of him being gay. Um I mean, Uncle Shannon, I don't know. I do a lot of social media and I've been doing it for a long time. It's not easy to hop on Instagram live. So um I'm they, telling they you, saying, you got to slide some things, you got to push some things, you got to listen, wait for some things, you got to do a lot of things. It's some typing going on. Get on I'm telling you. It's a little typing going you. on now. So they, I mean, he said that um, he lost out on some deals because of the incident. He even had to have a talk with ESPN about his job security, um, mm. which, you know, is they saying it's not in jeopardy, but... I mean, like, do you think it was planned? Do you think it was it was really just an accident? Because to me, it don't seem like, I just, let me, I just, I just want to see real quick. <laughs> you about to go and see, look, let me see what it takes. You got to open I just up the phone first. Quick. Okay, so Then I you got to go to Instagram. I sleep. Then you got no, to slide over. over. Yeah, no, you got to slide over first, friend. Then you got to go from stories to real to, to live. live. Okay. Then you got to press the button. Then, okay, then that's, a upload. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. So see, my concern is, my concern is, anytime I've ever been engaged in coitus, um, <laughs> You get on my nerves. Baby, that's an SAT word. Y'all better look it up. Y'all better look it up. Anytime I've ever been engaged in adult activities, baby, my phone was not nowhere near where we could. It, it's, mm. it's on a nightstand locked. It's in my purse. It's, it's away. We're not doing it. Away. That. We're not doing it. The that last phone. thing I need is to be in the middle of something and my mama call and I accidentally hit that phone and now my and mama now, never lie. And Child. now she, and now she <laughs> know, and now she know I like to be called names. <laughs> I don't want to do it. That's right. No, no mm -hmm. I'm a Shannon. I love you mm -hmm. so very much, but stop playing in my face. For whatever reason, you did this, and I'm going to let you cook, okay? But just know, <laughs> the way you dropped that t-shirt line immediately, mm. it make me feel like it make me feel like you had this up your sleeve. So I don't know. I can see that. I mean, I can see that. I, I know what I do know is nobody want to put their money on the line. You know what I mean? But what right. they say. Good, bad, ugly, and different publicity is still publicity. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like, it still will push the needle forward. So, whether it was an accident or not, girl, I don't know. I I, I could have went the rest of my life without ever hearing that. I promise. So, this, is, <laughs> this just makes me, this just makes me curious now because I put you on the spot, friend. So, uh, would you, you don't have to tell me if you ever have, but mm -hmm. would you ever, like, record it and like watch it back with your partner.